In this humble neighborhood in Cairo lives Ali, a simple accountant who lost his only son on the same day three years ago. We were in the demonstration together, but when the situation heated up, I told Mohab we should go back home. When we arrived back, he said he wanted to hang out with his friends under the house. An hour later, I got a phone call from his friend saying that he was shot down and in hospital. I discovered that he had gone back to the demonstration without my knowledge. It was a shock to the family two younger sisters and an aunt who raised him after his mother died when he was a child. He was loved by everyone. He was a responsible person and worked as a computer programmer while still in college to help his father with the bills. He was so radiant and fun to be with. Now his sisters rarely leave their rooms except to school and the family has become isolated. Since he left us, life has lost its real meaning. The family did not just lose a son, but a main breadwinner for the house. Living in a poor area like this, the government has promised the families of the martyrs compensation. But Ali says no money on earth can ever make up for the loss of his only son. Ali says before dying, Mohab always talked about his dream to see Egypt a better place. He cared for the country more than himself. He would help others and always said, if we all do the same, we will be one of the best countries in the world. He was very confident that his dream would become a reality. However, three years on, Ali still feels that the principles, ethics and the dreams that his son Mohab died for have not yet been fulfilled. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.